Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at cutting lines to shapes and other line guides in Illustrator. But before we begin, I have more Illustrator training over at Skillshare.com. If you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is better. I also have Illustrator Trading at Udemy.com and there's a referral link for every one of my classes there in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family and friends. So let's swing back to Illustrator where I've already got a document prepared. So what I've got here is a circle that's got a white fill and underneath it I've got a series of lines. Now these are just lines, you can see that they've got strokes, they don't have any fill at all. The reason for this is that it is more difficult to cut lines in Illustrator than it might at first appear and that's what we're going to do now. What I'm going to do is cut away the lines that are outside of this circular shape here and then I'm going to cut away all of these lines too, just leaving this set of lines and we're going to see how to do it. Now there are a number of things that you might think of as being options for cutting lines and one of them is to use the path option. So I've just got this single line selected, it's on top of everything else there. So what you could do you might think is to go to object and then path and then choose divide objects below because if these were filled shapes underneath here that would then cut them in half and it's just not working here in Illustrator because lines are very different to shapes. The other thing that you might think of using is some of these pathfinder options and again they just don't work. For example, there's an option for divide. So let's just grab all of these lines here and go to the Pathfinder and choose this divide option. Well, we get an error because there are no filled paths here. So as I said, it's very difficult to cut lines in Illustrator, much easier to cut them if they were shapes. But if we wanna keep them as lines, then we need to do it a little bit differently. And probably the easiest way to do that is to use the Shape Builder tool. Now I think this was introduced in something like Illustrator CS5, so it's in pretty much most versions of Illustrator that are in use today. I'm going to select over all of these, the lines and the shape. If I go to the Shape Builder tool, now what I can do is just run over the lines that I don't want. So I'm gonna hold down the Alt key, that would be the option on the Mac, and I'm gonna get rid of these outside lines. So I'm just gonna roll over them, you can see they're all removed and roll over these, they've all gone as well. Now when I go back to my shape and just drag the circle out of the way, well we've got the remaining lines. These set of lines are now constrained to the, basically the shape of the circle that was over the top of them. Now this was a shape, so let's go and see how we would cut lines with a line. So I've got my guideline there and I wanna get rid of all of these. Well, I'll select everything and that's really important with the Shape Builder tool. Go to the Shape Builder tool, hold the Alt or Option key because that's the sort of remove line option and I'll just run down those lines. So what's left is my guideline here and the lines that I actually want. So I can just pull my guideline away and I can delete that, for example. So if you need to cut lines in Illustrator, the easiest and simplest tool to use is the Shape Builder tool because most of the tools that you'll be used to using on shapes simply don't work for lines in Illustrator. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.